Agreed. Except it wasn't a target. Sarah came to Stalin to confirm rumors, whispers really, that an enemy of the League was here. Who? Malcolm Merlin. He's alive. Merlin was a member of the League of Assassins. My father released him from his obligation to us with the understanding he would abide by its code of conduct. You guys are professional killers. That is a pretty low bar. Merlin's undertaking violated the League's principles. When you killed him, we considered the matter settled. But then we received word from a reliable source that Merlin faked his demise. What source? Oliver's mother. Yeah, well, Oliver's mom wasn't exactly known for her honesty. No offense, I just can't believe that a guy everyone thinks was dead suddenly isn't. Neither did I. Then we found these. Sarah took them two weeks ago. Didn't the police, you know, find his body? Merlin had resources all over Sterling. I'm willing to bet one of them was in the coroner's office. Since learning Merlin was alive, the League has hunted him all over the globe. Running down every rumor, following every whisper. And one of those whispers put Merlin back in Sterling. She tracked him here. We are gonna retrace her steps. You said you found evidence on her person? Yes, Roy. We found a blank piece of paper in Sarah's boot, but why would she be carrying a blank piece of paper? Do you have a flame? Unbelievable. My father had a notebook with hidden writing just like this. A notebook he received from Merlin, I imagine. This is Ghost Inc., one of the means the League employs for concealing secrets. Sarah's handwriting. Notes from her surveillance of Merlin. Oliver, there's not much to go on here. There's a couple of things. Jansen, question mark. Dad, help, question mark. Sarah reached out to Lance. If Lance knew Merlin was alive, don't you think he would have told you? Only if she told him. What matters is what he told her. And how do we find that out? Joe, Kilman, word of advice. Next